All right, so now we're talking about Batman Year One. This one was a little different because it's not only an origin story for Batman, but Jim Gordon as well. It's kind of like Gotham. You know, you have Jim Gordon, he comes to Gotham, he finds out the police force is corrupt, and... But, and that's the Gotham part, but then, side by side, you have the origin of Batman, where Bruce Wayne has come back after 12 years, and he's trying to change Gotham for the better. And this version, um... Gordon's wife, Barbara, is pregnant and with a son, which I know he has one in the comics, but wouldn't it just be Barbara, the daughter, wouldn't it make more sense? I'm just saying. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I mean, in Gotham, I think it was Lee's, Lee was the one he had Barbara with, but, um, yeah, he's got a corrupt partner, which isn't Bullock this time, but Flass, and I'm sorry, this isn't Flass, because the Flass in this movie is big, he's tall, muscly, he has a blonde flat top, no, when I think of Flass, I think of the guy from Batman Begins, who's fat, he has a bushy, dark beard, dark hair that goes over like this, and he wears a hat. That's Flass. This, the, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger clone with blonde hair. It doesn't look like, and they keep calling him Flass, and it's not Flass to me. It doesn't, I don't see Flass in this character. I get this is a different continuity, but if you're going to use a character name, and I get it, it's probably from the comics, but everyone's going to associate the name Flash with the Batman Begins version of the character. And if you're going to use that character, make him look more like that character. Make him fat. Give him a beard. Something. This is not Flash. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger Gotham Edition. I also don't like the fact that we don't really get much of an origin story for the bat suit. I mean, we do, but it's like he doesn't wear it much. The final battle that he has, like, there's no big villain in this. Catwoman shows up for, like, five minutes. But, like, he's fighting organized crime, is what it is. And it's kind of disappointing to me. I hear this is a fan favorite one, but it's kind of disappointing. In the final fight, or taking on these gangsters, he's doesn't want to put on the suit in daylight, so he dresses up as a motorcyclist, and it's hinted that Jim Gordon knows who he is, because he's like, well, you're lucky I can't see anything without my glasses. No bullshit. Bullshit. Because you wouldn't be able to do any of these things that you were doing with your glasses off, so... Yeah, you see him. And that's another problem I have, is that... See, that's a problem I had with, like, the ending of Gotham was that Jim Gordon just knew Batman was Bruce, which you shouldn't know. And then, like, they do this in every show. Like, everyone has to know his identity to do it in The Flash, which to a point, for Team Flash, that's one thing. But, like, most recently, spoiler alert, he took his... He, to death row. Somebody doesn't know. He's like, because I'm Barry Allen. And I'm like... But wait, he's from the future... This bro's from the future, and this bro just read his mind, and he doesn't know he's Barry Allen? Okay. I don't know, but this was just underwhelming for me, to say the least. I just... No, I didn't really care for it uh, that much. Uh, Uh, there was times I found myself zoning out of this because I just I couldn't get into it. Uh, these movies are a little bit harder for me to get to than I thought, get through than I thought. But hopefully things are going to start picking up. We're getting into Flashpoint Paradox at some point. 
Dark Knight Returns, stuff like that. Good stuff coming up. So, yeah, um, this was fine. It's nothing to write home about, I think. I know it's celebrating its 10th, 10th anniversary with a 4K, which is nice, but I don't know. This movie didn't impress me much. There's less Batman, like, Mask of the Phantasm. Mask of the Phantasm told a modern Batman story while also going back to his origins. That's how you tell it. This was a complete origin story without much of Batman in it. And for it being called Batman Year One, like, like they do this thing where they transition from dated, like, May 19th to May 20th, and, you know, stuff like that out the year because it's an entire year so we have to show you that an entire year is passing which I don't know I got annoyed by halfway through the film like, I get it you're going through an entire year I don't care I really don't this was a little disappointing for me I know I said it already I'm gonna say it's the middle of the road because I just I don't know how to feel about this movie it just it didn't impress me. Like Shania Twain says, it don't impress me much. Boom, boom. Yeah, so what's the next one? Uh, hold on. Oh, I will mention something. Batman is played by Ben McKenzie, who would go on to play Commissioner Gordon. Or Jim Gordon in Gotham. So, there's that for you. A little tidbit. But, yeah, I didn't like how all the cops were corrupt in Gotham. Didn't like it here, so that didn't impress me. Uh, trying to get to the... Wait a minute. Wait. Hold on. I made a schedule. I made a schedule. Because I ripped out the other one. Here, the next one I'm doing is Justice League Doom. Hopefully these Justice League ones are good. Um, but, uh, so what are your thoughts on Batman Year One? I'm going to comment below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.